We got to keep God first. We got to yeah. stay humble. We got to keep working, and we got to get this money. Okay. Economic okay. empowerment yeah, yeah. is what's going to keep all of us on the street now. Yeah. Everybody. Black Jesus. I don't know if you heard or not, but hot off the money presses, we're going to be talking about it. Bill O'Reilly. Hmm, what happened to the O'Reilly factor? What happened to Bill O'Reilly? We're going to be talking about that. So, hashtag money make a motivation. Tell a friend to tell a friend. 855-756-6639. That's 855-756-6639. 855-75-MONEY. You are our co-host. We're taking your calls right here on Money Making Motivation, your number one source for economic empowerment. Uncle Dan? George? Y'all need anything else? Sensation Station Network. See ya. Hot off the money presses, guys. What's going on in pop culture? What's going on in social media? How it affects you and how it affects your finances, guys. This is Money Making Motivation. If someone just shared this with you, um, this is your number one source for economic empowerment, and I'm your host, E. Dean Cole. We were talking about it earlier today, and I actually have some clips for you um, after the break. I'm getting our clips together. Uh, today is 420. It is um, April the 20th, which is the National um, Cannabis Day. And so Bob Marley's son actually just went into business and guess what ladies and gentlemen he is taking an old prison in California and he's turning that old prison into a manufacturer or a weed dispensary or a weed manufacturer dispensaries ladies and gentlemen boys and girls if you haven't heard or you did not know um, cannabis legal weed is the new liquid gold it is the new gold mine we're going to be talking about that today on today's show we're going to be talking about different cannabis friendly stocks there's actually a facebook group um, that you can actually go and learn everything you need to know about cannabis friendly stocks we're going to be talking about that today on today's show um, give us a call 855-756-6639 that's 855-75-MONEY if you um actually are familiar with the cannabis stocks if you tra if you actually trade the cannabis stocks or you purchase cannabis um, stocks or even if you're in the cannabis dispensary business I want to hear from you today give us a call 855-75-MONEY so we were talking about that and also ladies and gentlemen what else is going on in pop culture in the news and how it affects you Mr. Bill O'Reilly <laughs> um, <laughs> Bill O'Reilly I happen to Now this is the thing about Bill O'Reilly Bill O'Reilly is very entertaining On Fox they, That was their flagship show And unfortunately Bill O'Reilly Got fired on his off day Which is kind of funny Being 420 Didn't um, somebody on Friday get fired Like how are you going to get fired on your off day Might as well smoke That's what they say on Friday right Which is one of the most 420 friendly shows there I mean movies there is Bill O'Reilly yes he got fired on his off day. Now, um, he has a comment that he has made. I'm going to share that with you guys after the break. I'm going to read his comment that he made. To give you guys a brief synopsis, Bill O'Reilly was terminated after paying out over $13 million in settlement for sexual harassment allegations. And it wasn't until a contributor of the show came on and she was a whistleblower that started the ball moving with him being terminated and of course Miss um, Congressman Maxine Waters she put the nail in the coffin I have some audio from Miss Maxine Waters talking about the situation um, after the break we're going to be talking about that he had over um, 90 I think 70 I'm gonna double check that number I believe he had over 70 different sponsors pull from the O'Reilly factor now granted yes they did reposition those funds from the O'Reilly factor to other shows on Fox but guys think about it if the show if your sponsors leave then um, 
oh my goodness, your show is gone. On that note, let's give a big shout out to GM, GM Vehicles, who sponsored the second half of our show, and also Markets World Live. Markets World Live is the only place that you can actually trade binary options and Forex, where they're going to max your deposit up to $1,000, ladies and gentlemen. They are sponsoring um, our segment called Spend It and Get It Right Back, where we talk about the stock market, and we're spending a lot of time talking about foreign currencies and talking about the cannabis market. Today, specifically, they are our sponsors. Now, think about it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is what I like about this. I feel like this is a victory. Now, granted, it's a victory, I feel like, for the culture, but it's a victory that is a little bit, you know, we did, I, we, we, we championed Miss Maxine Waters for the um, nail that was put in the coffin for, for Bill O'Reilly. But in actuality, it was a, a, um, a Caucasian woman who was a contributor of the show who began, became a whistleblower to um, Bill O'Reilly when he would not uh, when she did not take his sexual advances after she would leave the show, she began to um, she she became a whistleblower and he actually began to ban her. She was what we consider a correspondent to the show. So I think um, I'm going to get more research on on that. I think she is named anonymous in the lawsuits. There's a lot of women who are very vocal about it. So that has happened. And also, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you did not know, Miss Serena Williams is now pregnant. Yes, she is 20 weeks pregnant. She dropped a video on Snapchat. And that video on Snapchat went viral. You guys went crazy on social media. Black Twitter went in an uproar. They were talking. It was all types of memes looking at Drake, all types of memes looking at um, <laughs> at Cameron, uh, two of her, not Cameron, excuse me, um, not, not Cameron. Uh, God dang it. I just had a, a slip in my mind, ladies and gentlemen. This is, and I promise I have not smoked any weed today, even though it's 420. This is live radio, and I just forgot um, one of her boyfriends. Um, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Just that quick. It's real live. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and it's hot in the studio. So if you see me sweating, I'm going to have to come up out of this jacket. I want to be as professional as I can be. But ladies and gentlemen, it is burning up. It is a beautiful spring day here in Atlanta, Georgia, and I am sweating bullets. So if you're watching on um, Facebook Live, don't worry. I'm going to come up out of this t out of this jacket, and we're going to be on par. And when we come back, I'm going to let you know about what we just kind of did the whole befuddle on i know this is live radio forgive me ladies and gentlemen but this is still your number one source for economic empowerment this is money making motivation and i'm your host edean cole and we are broadcasting every tuesday and thursday from one to three right here on ssn atl2 and in your gm vehicles on the radio on the satellite radio edean cole edean cole Ladies and gentlemen, this is Money Making Motivation, your number one source for economic empowerment. And we just had a live air blooper situation. It was hot. I was sweating. The beads of sweat was coming down my face, and they were whispering in my ears like, you know you're about to mess up on this commentary, right? And so as the sweat is coming down my face, whispering in my ear, my jacket starts to get tighter and tighter and tighter on me. It was just a really hot situation, ladies and gentlemen. So I had to come up out of my jacket. So if you're watching live, um, I had to come up out of my jacket and... Um, um, so hashtag Money Making Motivation. You can see us live in studio on Facebook. Hashtag Money Making Motivation on Twitter. At, at E. Dean Cole on Twitter. Hashtag Money Making Motivation. And hashtag Money Making Motivation on Instagram. My two cents. We're going to talk about it. The Bill O'Reilly situation. We want to know what your two cents is on the matter. If you guys do not remember, we were talking about it earlier before the break, that <clears throat> Maxine Waters did a epic response to Mr. Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly on his show was giving a commentary on her hairdo. She was actually addressing the house and um, Bill O'Reilly was giving a commentary talking about how he could not focus on what she was saying. And she was speaking truth to power. And he and basically he denigrated her on national television. So Miss uh, Maxine Waters had a response. And this is what led the fuel to the fire of the of the, of the firing of one of the most legendary um, controversial columnists, radio personalities, um, anchor men, Mr. Bill O'Reilly. We have that clip ready for you guys. Beware. Don't allow these right-wing 
talking heads, these dishonorable people to intimidate you or scare you. Be who you are, do what you do, and let us get on with discussing the real issues of this country. Bill O'Reilly and Roger Ailes have no credibility. Uh, they have been sued by women. They have had to pay millions of dollars out in fines for harassment and other kinds of things. And so we know about that checkered past. And we also know that when a woman stands up and speaks truth to power, that there will be attempts to put her down. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that was a lesson from Queen Maxine Waters herself, Congressman Queen Maxine Waters. She gave it to um, old Mr. Bill O'Reilly on national television. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, if you've never been in the presence of a powerful black woman, you just was in that last twenty sec in that last sixty seconds. She explained to you why she got the position that she said. I love it when someone is able to address haters in an eloquent way. I actually had <laughs> I had a situation on my YouTube not too long ago where I did a similar situation where I used the opportunity to teach. And so because of that last segment where she says he has no credibility, he has been sued. That is what added the fuel to the fire, and social media has went in an uproar, ladies and gentlemen, because of that speech, that response that Maxine Waters gave on national television is what caused the sponsors to leave off of his show, which led to his demise. Fox was okay with sweeping it under the rug. I mean, he has millions and millions of dollars. I think he, he paid over $13 million in hush money to keep these women quiet. They were okay with that. But when you start messing with the money, that's when it becomes an issue. And so the sponsors pulled out of his show. He had over 70 sponsors in all pull out of his show. They sent him on a nice little vacation and they fired him over his vacation, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to know what your thoughts are. So that's our topic for today and my two cents. So tweet me at Edean Cole, hashtag money making motivation. Let me know what your thoughts are about this situation at Edean Cole, hashtag money making motivation on Twitter, on Facebook. Send me a message, a private message, hashtag money making motivation. And I'll read your message live on the air if you can't call because I understand some of you guys are sneaking and listening at work. Some of you guys actually tell me that, like, Dean, I be listening, but I can't call because I be at work and I be forgetting. Oh, yeah, you know, my show is in the middle of the day. <laughs> Nevertheless, so a lot of you guys are um, giving us uh, messages and also your private messages on Instagram at Edean Cole, hashtag money making motivation. I'm going to read your responses on the subject. What do you guys think about Bill O'Reilly being fired and Maxine Waters having the contribution to that? Now, before we get, went to break when the sweat was dripping down my face and it was whispering in my ear telling me I'm about to mess up the commentary. <laughs> you got to learn to laugh at yourself, ladies and gentlemen, especially if you are a public speaker and an orator. Um, as this is happening, I forgot to say that common, I said Cameron, forgive me, common um, social media went in an uproar over um, <clears throat> Serena Williams, she actually won the Australian Open being a pregnant woman. That is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. And so she showed off her baby bump. She and her new fiancé, who is the Reddit founder, is expecting their first child together. And they were, social media, you guys went in on Drake and in on coming, talking about how you let a good one go and all these other things. And some people had a lot of off-topic comments to say. So um, I want to know what your thoughts are on that as well. So ladies and gentlemen, when we get back, we're going to get more into it. We're we're going to talk about this 420 movement. Now, I have a funny story to tell you guys about my experience with um, marijuana. <laughs> I got to tell you guys my uh, story about that when we get back. So tell a friend to tell a friend. Hashtag Money Making Motivation on Twitter. Um, at Edine Cole on Twitter. Hashtag Money Making Motivation on Instagram. Hashtag Money Making Motivation on Facebook. Hashtag Money Making Motivation. If you find this valuable, I want you to hit that share button on Facebook. If you are in your GM vehicle and you're listening through that beautiful Boss Stereo system turn us up because we're broadcasting live internationally in all gm vehicles this is money making motivation your number one source for economic empowerment and i'm your host ed and cole ratchet you're in the wrong place it's the nation's urban internet station sensation station network <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, spin it and get it right back. This is Money Making Motivation, your number one source for economic empowerment. If you're looking at me like, Dean, you're in a t-shirt, normally you're suited and booted. Listen, I got a really cool, nice little business casual thing going. See, I was in the spirit today. I told I told the um, Prime when I walked into the studio today because it was burning up hot. I had a nice little V-neck on. You know, I like my style. Nice little V-neck on and my blazer. After the studio cools off, I think I'm going to bring that back in after the next break. I want to make sure I feel professional. So if you're watching me right now, yes, this is Eden. Cole, hashtag money making motivation. This is me, and you see me in a v neck t shirt. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, it is hot in the studio and it's starting to cool off. And I'm going to come back to myself, be on my P's and Q's, spend it and get it right back. Ladies and gentlemen, spend it and get it right back. It is brought to you by Markets World Live, our latest sponsor of the show. Markets World Live is the only binary options broker in the United States of America that will match your deposits up to $1,000. You're instantly going to double your money with Markets World Live. Be, be prepared because we are actually partnering together and we're coming out with a free course that's right f-r-e-e free 99 a free course that's going to teach you how you can get into the binary options in the forex market and how you're able to get a good return on your investment we're going to teach you that so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i said it before the break <clears throat> that this is 420 april the 20th which is the national 420 day now let me tell you guys my experience with this as we talk about the um cannabis market and the benefits of the cannabis market. I have some um, articles that I want to share with you guys, um, but my experience is that I, I, I came up somewhat conservative. I came up in the church, you know, to a certain extent, and um, I never smoked weed or, I can, I, yeah, I never smoked weed. I can't say weed. I never smoked marijuana for the sponsors listening. I never participated in 420 <laughs> until my brother's to one of my brother's bachelor parties. Listen, I got high as a mink coat. <laughs> the first time I I participated in it, my brother didn't have anything to do with it. He was in the, he was in the house with his frat brothers. I was outside laughing and talking. I was so stressed out. There was a lot of stress that was going on <laughs> in my life. And I said, you know what? Let me just try this. <laughs> and I tried it. And that was the first and last time that I've ever tried it. I am not a huge fan of it. Now, I am a fan of the cigars, ladies and gentlemen. You guys know that I like a nice cigar. But as far as the weed, I'm not a big fan of it. And that's one of the reasons why is because, you know, it's illegal. And me being in the banking and finance industry, ain't no telling when they're going to test us. So because of my industry and because of my background, I've never been a big fan of it. But if you guys are, today is the day. It's National 420 Day. Have at it. You are able to express yourself how you feel. This is a no-judgment zone, and I want to know what your thoughts are. So give us a call, 855-756-6639. That is 855-756-6639. Give us a call with all of your financial questions as well as your questions on credit, and let me know your experience about it. Hit us up at hashtag MoneyMakingMotivation. Let me know what your thoughts are about it. So we were talking about it before the break that the cannabis market is one of the best markets to be in. Ladies and gentlemen, I was talking about it on Hot Off the Money Presses that Damian Marley, Bob Marley's son has made a tremendous investment. Let me read this to you guys. Damian Marley has announced that he, in his partnership with Ocean Grown Extracts, is converting a former 77,000 square foot California prison into a cannabis grow space that will cultivate medical marijuana for, state, for the state nationwide. Listen, the miracle, mental, the miracle mar marijuana movement is a huge movement. You do not have to be a participator. You do not have to get high on your own supply, as they say. But that is one of the biggest moving groups when it comes to the stock market. The penny stock market is a very good market to get into when we're talking about spending and get it right back. You can get some great returns on your investment. Um, people talk, people watch the Wolf of Wall Street, which is a very great motivational um, seminar. If you've never seen it before, show your, show your children. <laughs> I'm just joking. But in the Wolf of Wall Street, he begins to become very successful by selling these penny stocks. And then after he sells these penny stocks, he would then um, sell major stocks. He had a revelation to where, why not sell these penny stocks in huge bulk loads? People always say, well, the heyday of the stock market has gone. That's not true. The marijuana dispensary market is the best market that you can get in now so that you can take advantage of some of those larger um, influxes. And I'm about to give you guys a stock tip right now. So remember, I am not a licensed professional when it comes to stocks. I do not have my Series 7 or my Series 63, but I am a professional when it comes to business development, and I know a thing or two about a thing or two. So let's talk about it. A huge cannabis farmer's um, paradise. There are four Irish countries 
hear me now, there are four Irish countries that will become the number one growers of cannabis in Europe. Yes. So on the stock market, in the stock exchange, look for the cannabis markets that are in Europe. In Ireland companies, in Ireland countries specifically, there is a huge influx of the um, cannabis <clears throat> growing market in Ireland. Ireland. So when we get back, we're going to talk a little bit more about this. We're taking your calls, 855-756-6639. That is 855-75-M-O-N-E-Y. We're taking your calls live on the air. This is Money Making Motivation, and I'm your host, E. Dean Cole, the number one source for economic empowerment right here on Sensation Station. Okay, so five tacos of cheese and a large soda, that's $10,012. Please drive around. Wait, 10000 what? It's obvious you're buzzed and driving. I've only had a few. I'm fine. Yeah, the food's 12 bucks, but getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Please drive around. Actually, just park and come in. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys are very funny. I love our listeners. Um, you guys had just mentioned me on Facebook laughing at my experience, talking about my experience um, participating in cannabis. <laughs> you guys were laughing at me. I'm going to read some of these mentions. Um, Dean Cole, you are lightweight. I can't believe that you got so high. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Uh, another one says, hey, Dean Cole, you look good in the V-neck. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Someone else says, um, hey, um, Today is the best day to get the hydro for the low. That is very funny, very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. So we were talking about it earlier. We were talking about the cannabis market. We were talking about how you're able to benefit um, on the cannabis market and how you're able to get a good return on your investment. Um, I'm going to read this um, comment one more time. Um, let you guys know that there is a huge influx right now in the cannabis market where you're able to get a good return on your investment. So there, there are four Irish countries. There are four Irish countries that are there are four Irish countries that are becoming the largest cannabis growers in Europe. So this is a good market for you guys to get into if you're wanting to get a good return on your investment. So. I want to know what your thoughts are on it. Do you think it should be legal? Should it not be legal? Give us a call, 855-756-6639. That is 855-756-6639, 855-75-MONEY. I'm taking all of your questions. If you aren't able to talk, message me um, on Twitter, at Edine Cole, hashtag Money Making Motivation. Message us on Instagram, at E. Dean Cole, hashtag money making motivation. We are everywhere you want to be. Now, um, <clears throat> my thoughts about it is that, you know, today is 420. And I don't readily know where 420 came from, to be very candid with you. I just don't know. So if somebody can tell me, maybe one of the interns can let us know. So during the break, we can talk about the origin of 420. But today is April the 20th, the National um, Cannabis Day. And in the cannabis market, it is a huge opportunity for you. You don't have to be a participator of it. If there is legal cannabis, then you are able to, it's not illegal. Like in Los Angeles, you're able to go to Los Angeles and other places, and you're able to participate in cannabis. That's the reason why um, Darian Marley has partnered up and purchased a 77,000 square foot prison and turned that into a new cannabis dispensary and a cannabis um, grow house, basically, in, um, <clears throat> in um, California. Speaking of grow house, ladies and gentlemen, the movie Grow House is in stores today. I mean, in, in theaters today as well. Grow House starring um, Charlemagne the God, starring um, Little Duval, and they're talking about the business side of cannabis. And that's what we're talking about on today's show, the business side of cannabis. Now, if you are interested in... Um, if you are interested in the cannabis industry, let me tell you how you're able to <clears throat> get into the cannabis business. This is a calculated assumption. Growing a business, whether it be a cannabis dispensary or it be a church, ooh, look at the dichotomy, whether it be a, a therapist's office or it be a strip club, is still the exact same principles and method that it will take for you to build and structure your business. If you are going to build a cannabis business, if you're going to participate in it, my advice to you is if you're that passionate about it, move to Colorado, move to California, move to Amsterdam, move to Ireland, move to one of the places where um, cannabis um, is legal. 
So that way you can actually turn a side hustle into your legal business or you can invest with other people. There are a lot of NFL celebrities and a lot of NBA celebrities that privately invest and fund the cannabis market. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, a lot of the celebrities are some of the biggest <clears throat> contributors to the cannabis market because it is now a way where you can take uh, an illegal side hustle and turn it to a legitimate business. Let's talk about it a bit more. Once you once you are in California or you're in Colorado or in one of the areas where cannabis is legal, create your LLC. My advice to you, just as a business consultant, don't now. If you're going to listen to this, I need you to do me a favor and pay it forward. So I'm going to give you guys some free consulting right now. So if you're listening to this and you're interested in growing a cannabis business, I want you to pay for this by sharing this with somebody else. <clears throat> in your business name, <laughs> do not, I repeat, do not put weed or cannabis in your business name. I have personal experience where I have tried to get cannabis companies funded for loans. The cannabis companies actually, they've come through our consulting firm wanting to get funding. We actually had a marketing campaign, to be very candid with you guys, that targeted the cannabis industry because... The cannabis industry is considered a high-risk industry, and it's kind of hard to get funding. So that means that as a consulting firm, um, our competition was, is kind of low in that market. So we have about four lenders that will lend to cannabis businesses. Now, one of the lenders, which is one of my favorite lenders, they will lend to the cannabis business, but they don't want the name to say cannabis. There was a company that was called, <clears throat> um, there was a company, and he named his LLC um, Dr. Weed Hydro. Never forget it. Dr. Weed Hydro, and he was funded by one of these celebrities that I'm, t well, a couple of, two of these celebrities that I'm talking to you guys about. That's why I, I can speak so adamantly about this. <clears throat> he was funded, had a very good stake with two um, N uh, NFL players that were um, funding him, and they got to the point that they were looking to grow. Everything on paper looked beautiful. Their LLC was established. They had a DUNS number. They had an 80 paydex score. Everything looked great. They had a business checking account. Um, but the problem came in with the name. It was very difficult to get them the type of funding that they needed because of the actual name. So my advice to you is that if you're looking to build and grow a cannabis business, then make sure that your name is something that you cannot be marginalized against. When we get back, I'm going to talk more about this. I'm going to let you guys know the areas that you can actually go right now and begin to build a cannabis um, business. So if you don't know the states of the countries, come back. Tell a friend to tell a friend who's a weed head who is celebrating 420 like it's the 4th of July. Let them know to tune in so I can show you how you can maximize on this. This is Money Making Motivation, your number one source for economic empowerment. And I'm your host, Eden Cole. I'm trying to look professional, but I'm sweating like a, um, a stripper in church. This is Sensation Station right here on Money Making Motivation. When it comes to saving money, don't act like a baby. Goo goo gaga. Be the boss and make a budget. I'm the boss, baby. You're not the boss of me. I am the boss of you. I'm not. M2. I'm not. M2. <laughs> Need a little help? Aren't you going to do any work? I'm very busy delegating. Create a personalized savings plan. We can share. You obviously didn't go to business school. And get other tools and tips at feedthepig.org. Brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. And so a new American industry has been born. Sensation Station Network. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Money Making Motivation, your number one source for economic empowerment. And I'm your host, Edie and Cole. We're broadcasting live in Atlanta, Georgia, from Frisco to Maine, all the way to Spain. We're going all the way around the world with this thing. You can listen to us on Sensation Station Network. You can listen to us on SSN ATL. You can also listen to us if you're in your GM vehicles. You can listen on satellite radio with the TuneIn app. If you are watching live or you can listen to us and watch us on Facebook, hashtag Money Making Motivation. We are everywhere you want to be. And so during the break, one of our interns came back with some riveting news, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to read to you. This is the origin of um, 420. Now, let's talk about it. Originally, um, there's an urban myth that said, for originally 420 um, was an urban myth saying that it came from the police code, meaning marijuana smoke in progress. But in 1970, you know, 1970, there was a group of friends in California that allegedly found this huge marijuana, um, this huge marijuana 
pot of land and they found a map now as they met after school at 4 20 in the afternoon they smoked so much weed that they forgot where they were to find this big magical land of marijuana so that is the two origins of 420 one is um stated to believe that it comes from the code for marijuana smoke in progress the other is because they say that these great um great heroes in the um weed space <laughs> <laughs> they met at 420 after school um, in 1970. Some high school kids did so. So that's where the term 420 come from. Now, we were breaking it down earlier before the break on how you're able to actually do business in <clears throat> marijuana friendly places. So I have a list right now of medical marijuana where it is um, broadly legalized as well as a list of where marijuana is legalized for recreational purposes. So I did not know that Alaska... All on the West Coast, Alaska, it is legal for you to participate in marijuana smoke. Also, <clears throat> in um, Colorado, Colorado, in Utah, in the Washington State, as well as in New York, it is legal for you to participate in marijuana um, dispensaries and also to participate in the recreational use for marijuana. So a marijuana dispensary would be a great um, place to um, invest in those states. Now, before the break, we were talking about my experience um, with the cannabis business. Now, like I mentioned, or for you guys who don't know who I am and wonder why, well, how do I have a radio show and why are people listening to me? <laughs> uh, my name is E. Dean Cole and I own Dean Cole Financial. We are a consulting firm and we specialize in working capital, alternative finance and business credit development. And I teach economic empowerment and I was doing a lot of free teaching on social media, YouTube, on Facebook, and I was discovered um, and this opportunity was presented to me. Um, I became a number one bestseller best-selling author my first time out was how to start a business even if you have bad credit no per no credit and with no personal guarantee i competed with damon john on the amazon bestseller list and i became a best-selling author so that's a little bit about who i am now my experience with the marijuana space is that as a consulting firm we also would do advertising to certain businesses and one of the industries that we would do a lot of advertising with is the the marijuana um business the weed dispensaries and um like i mentioned as a consulting firm we have contracts with 150 different lenders there are four lenders that we utilize um, that's able to fund marijuana dispensaries and one of the biggest deals that I remember that I had my hands on was um, a company that had um, <clears throat> weed in their name now I you I said their name on national um, radio because they've since changed their name they decided to change their name so they can get this funding that they needed but the name of the business they had actually it was I think it was called dr. hydro um, weed or something like that LLC and that was their their business name everything was set up they were out of Colorado they had the business checking account they had the um, they had an 80 paydex score they also did a personal guarantee and they used an NFL celebrity as a personal guarantee and they <clears throat> were actually about to get um, four hundred and fifty thousand dollars in funding and one of the lenders that one of the main lenders I like to go to um, was they were about to get ready to approve them but they had an issue with the name the reason why is because the lenders have investors that they have to answer to so my advice to you is that if you are wanting to do uh, some type of dispensary I always suggest it doesn't matter what your business is this is my advice universal make your business as universal as possible so that way you're not marginalized when someone looks at you on a piece of paper discrimination is real ladies and gentlemen a lot of times people say people discriminate against you because of your the color of your skin your sexual proclivity or your nationality that has its place but majority of the time we are our own worst enemy we'll do stuff like put down DJ Lowrider LLC in my mind, I'm thinking that DJ Lowrider might be an African-American man that might not have business about itself. Or it's just like this, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever, um, <clears throat> I use this analogy um, with my clients, have you ever given a friend um, a job recommendation and on his email address it is um, bbwlover at gmail.com? So when you look at that, that unprofessional email is what people are going to judge you off of. So yes, we are taught not to discriminate against people based on their um, ethnos, based on their sexual proclivity, based on their religious belief. But the propensity to discriminate has not gone anywhere. So that being said, if they cannot discriminate against you in one way, which is illegal, they will discriminate against you in the, in the right way, which is when it comes to business and funding. 
um, when it comes to anything. So that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to empower yourself to where if you are wanting to get into this business and you're wanting to grow the business, make the business something like Brown and Company or Johnson Holdings or um, Deshaun Desh, um, Group or JDS Enterprises or BHQ enterprises or something along those lines do something to where someone cannot look on a piece of paper and determine what your business is without doing a full um, underwriting process for you because that lender because of the relationship I had with the underwriters they were able to underwrite the file whereas some of the other lenders would not underwrite the file because of the name they looked at the name first whereas I use a lot of my clout because this was a lender that I fund a lot of business with. I said, hey, underwrite it anyway. They underwritten and found out that they were considered an A-plus lender, beautiful A-plus lender, but they said, okay, Dean, they had to change their name to become fundable. They did. They got funded. So I said all of that to say this, ladies and gentlemen, is that position yourself to prosper. The cannabis business is a very good business to be in. Nowadays, it is the new liquid gold. If you don't want to invest in the cannabis stocks, um, you can also invest in the business. I said that there was a Facebook group I wanted to share with you guys, and that Facebook group is PMJ Stocks. If you go on Facebook to PMJ Stocks, you can actually find a list of all the cannabis-friendly stocks, PMJ Stocks. You can find that, guys. Give us a call, 855-75-MOE. That is 855-756-6639. This is Money Making Motivation, your number one source for economic empowerment. I'm your host, Edie Cole, right here on Sensation Station. What's a dumb way to listen to an awesome mix of urban hits? Sensation Station Network. Too much sauce. I'm more resourceful than I thought. My suit can still make an impression. My video games are still game changers. And my lamp can bring others a bright future. Because when I donate my stuff to Goodwill, it helps fund job placement and training for people right in my community. Now my stuff gets a second chance. And will give someone in my community a second chance too. Goodwill. Donate stuff. Create jobs. Find your nearest donation center at Goodwill.org. That's Goodwill.org. This message brought to you by Goodwill and the Ad Council. You don't usually get a stock tip from a 16-year-old. But I'm here to tell you about a different kind of stock. It's called Better Futures, a stock for social change that's not about making money. Instead, you invest to help students like me go to college. This is beyond a simple donation. It's the opportunity for America to invest in its kids and take an active stake in the future of the country. The return on your investment is in money. What you get back is knowing you protected our potential. So one day, that potential can grow up to become surgeons and architects, executives and engineers. People who can change the future just by being a part of it. My name is Alicia, and I am your dividend. Invest in better futures with UNCF. Visit uncf.org slash invest. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. A public service announcement brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Money Making Motivation, your number one source for economic empowerment, and I'm your host, Eden Cole. I was just over here listening, laughing at some of you guys on Instagram. <laughs> I think some of you guys might be participating in 420 all day. Some of these emojis that I'm getting, some of these um, comments and memes that I'm getting, somebody actually took a screenshot. <laughs> somebody took a screenshot of the, um, of the broadcast, and they put... On my forehead, the Mike, the Michael Jordan face crying because I'm sw- I was sweating so hard. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Hashtag Money Maker Motivation on Instagram. Hashtag Money Maker Motivation on Facebook. Hashtag Money Maker Motivation at Eden Cole on Twitter. So let me read some of these Instagram co- um, mentions. You guys are hilarious. Um, Eden Cole, hashtag Money Maker Motivation. You stay clean, even in that white tee. I appreciate that. All right, and that was from Mr. Um, Royalty designs okay awesome i appreciate that and then we have um k9 design k9 design hashtag money making motivation how can i get approved for a business i have a business about dog treatment okay k9 design we can talk about that all right um miss miss underscore felicia 89 says hashtag money making motivation let me find out you tatted up i didn't know you had a sleeve <laughs> thank you so much for that miss felicia and then there's the meme the meme came from um ice underscore cole 
Alpha 32 um, at um, <laughs> they're the person that made the meme of me with the, the crying forehead. I appreciate that. All right, then we have Mr. Um, Sexual Chocolate. Sexual Chocolate 1872 says, hashtag money making motivation. I appreciate the, the knowledge, my brother. I did not know that I can start my own weed business and it's legal. I love this show. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, hashtag money making motivation. Um, this is from the original Omega Man, um, the original Omega Man underscore GC. He says, hashtag money making motivation. Can you talk a little more about the business side of the weed business? I never thought that I could actually own stock. Let's talk more about the stocks. Love the show. Wipe your forehead. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's so you guys, if you cannot give us a call, definitely reach out to me on Instagram or li reach out to us on Facebook. You guys are hilarious, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, I, I'm going to have to start um, coming in with like a fan on me because y'all y'all starting to roast me. That is so funny. But this is um, your number one source for economic empowerment. And I'm going to do both of those things. I'm going to do all three of those things. So, in the next hour, tell a friend to tell a friend, I'm going to talk about how you're able to start a business from from the ground up. I'm going to talk about the specificity of that. So if you have someone that's interested in starting a business and they never knew how to do it, I'm going to let you guys know. I'm going to give you the top five things you need to know about how you're able to start a business. The top five things you need to know on how you're able to start a business right here on Money Making Motivation. So tell a friend to tell a friend, text them, um, tweet them, at them, do what you need to do, share this information with them. Also, we're going to talk a little bit more about the stocks when we get back, the weed stocks. We're going to talk about that when we get back. This is Money Making Motivation, your number one source for economic empowerment. And I want to make sure that you are informed, not just entertained, but also empowered. I want you to be educated and inspired by listening to this show. This platform, I do not take it lightly, and I am very excited about the opportunity that we have with our sponsors. I'm excited about the opportunity that I have to speak into your life and to be a part of such greatness. Ladies and gentlemen, I have so many screenshots and so much good success stories, I just can't put them all out. Um, I have a course called, um, which is DCFI Online, Dean Cole Financial Institute. Um, you can enroll at DCFIOnline.com. And I have so many clients with all these success stories, and I'm glad that I can be a part of it. There are so many people. Credit score has gone up 75 to 100 points. I have a video um, of a young lady. I'm going over her credit report with her. She actually got positioned to get $5,000 for vendor lines of credit for her business, and her credit score has gone up 100 points, and she hasn't even taking advantage of everything that's available with the course. Like she has some new lines of credit that's about to hit next month. I was talking to a gentleman today who enrolled into our course. He said his credit score went up 75 points. Um, and there was somebody who kind of, who not kind of, there's somebody that stole a part of my course, not the full course, but a part of it. And he was connected with her. He decided to go with her. Then when he saw that it wasn't working, he decided to enroll into our course this morning. And I thought that that was very phenomenal. And I have a screenshot of that conversation. He gave me the permission to share that. So definitely come back um, to my um, social media and you can, you guys can see that. Um, so I said all of that to say this, ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited for the opportunities that I have. And I want to make sure that I just don't sit here and smile at you and become a halfway male model. <laughs> I actually want to empower you and educate you. So uh, your wish is my command. That being said, next hour, which is sponsored by GL General Motors, we're going to be talking about how you're able to start a weed business, a legal weed business. I'm going to give you the specificity of what you need to know, the top five things of what you need to know. We're also going to talk about the stocks. What are the top trending weed stocks right now? I just say weed, but you know, cannabis stocks. We're going to talk about that. This this is 420. If you are going to puff on some weed today, you puff on some weed today. I'm not going to puff on any weed, but I am going to enjoy a beautiful cigar. Ladies and gentlemen, it is beautiful outside today in Atlanta, Georgia. So I am in the heart of the city in Buckhead. I'm going to go around the corner to Dantana's. Anybody in the Atlanta area you want to come join me? Um, I'm going to go for happy hour and I'm going to do a YouTube live because today is 420 and I'm going to enjoy a cigar. So we're going to have a cigar with the CEO session today. Today, um, around 4.30 today. Oh, better yet, 
at 420. <laughs> We're going to have that today. So on YouTube, come to my YouTube channel at 420. I'm not going to have any um, weed, but I will enjoy a cigar with you guys. This is Money Maker Motivation, and I'm your host, Eden Cole. When we get back, we're going to get more into the specificity and practicality on how you're able to make money legally in the weed business right here on Sensation Station. Sensation Station Network. Radio. Radio to Atlanta. Now no, 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 no. Well, you'll see what happens. Sensation Station Network. This is Money Making Motivation. We are broadcasting live from Frisco to Maine, all the way to Spain. We're going all the way around the world with this thing. I am your host, E. Dean Cole, and you are listening to Money Making Motivation, your number one source for economic empowerment. And I am live every Tuesday and Thursday from 1 to 3, and you are our co-host. Give us a call live on the air at 855-756-6639. That is 855-756-6639. Or mention me on Twitter at E. Dean Cole, hashtag Money Making motivation on instagram at edine cole hashtag money making motivation on facebook hashtag money making motivation we are everywhere you need to be now right um <clears throat> before the top of the hour break i was talking about the specificity and the practicality of starting a actual weed business if you have a passion about anything i don't care if it's baking cupcakes i don't care if it's counseling people i don't care if it is making clothes or someone talked about their 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 dog design business Whatever you're passionate about, where your treasure is, that's where your heart will be also. If you're passionate about weed, instead of getting incarcerated about it, instead of just being a weed head, do like Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa was featured today on The um, the View. He was talking about his new strain, strain of weed. The same way that you come, people come out with beverages, the same way that people come out with... Um, with beers and wines, you can do the exact same thing with weed. The only person stopping you from being successful is you, and I'm going to do the best that I can to, to position you so that you can go into this um, the right way. So after our break, we're going to do, we're going to go to break. When we come back, we're going to do um, hot off the money presses, what's going on in pop culture, how it affects you. And after that, that break, I'm going to tell you the top five things that you need to know on how you're able to start your own weed business. Now, the thing that I'm going to give you is that it can be used for any business. The only difference is that after your business is developed and after you get to the point to where you are lendable in the eyes of the underwriters, then you have to go to certain specific legalities based on your industry. So if you are a massage therapist, you might have to get a therapist license, uh, excuse me, a massage license. If you are a barber, you might have to get a cosmetology license. If you are a um, weed dispensary, you might have to make sure you're in certain states and jurisdiction. But what I'm going to give you are the the top five things you need to do to get to the point to where you can get money from lenders so that you can now build your business. We're going to be talking about that after the break, after hot off the money presses. Guys, I want you to tell a friend to tell a friend to tune in. This is Money Making Motivation, and I'm your host, Eden Cole. We go live every Tuesday and Thursday from 1 to 3. You can listen to us on Sensation Station Network. You can listen to us if you're in your GM vehicles on your satellite radio in the TuneIn app. Um, if you're on the Facebook, hashtag Money Making Motivation on Instagram, hashtag Money Making Motivation on Twitter at Edeen Cole hashtag money making motivation we are everywhere you want to be so we're going to be talking about that guys when we get back from the break tell a friend to tell a friend this is Sensation Station and I'm your host Edeen Cole and you're listening to Money Making Motivation right here on SSN at school.com brought to you by Get Schooled and the Ad Council <laughs> Out of the money presses, what's going on in social media, what's going on in pop culture, how it affects you, and how it affects your money. This is Hot Off the Money Presses with Edeen Cole. This is Money Making Motivation, your number one source for economic empowerment. Now, in our last hour, we talked about how Mr. Bill O'Reilly, yes, Mr. Bill O'Reilly himself is no longer with Fox. Their number one anchor, their number one anchoring show is now Let Him Go. He was terminated on his off day. Mr. Bill O'Reilly was actually um, reported to have over $13 million paid out to um, females for harassment suits. And he was most recently um, 
going up against um, Congresswoman Maxine Waters, and Congresswoman Maxine Waters tore him a new one. What he did was he um, denigrated her on live national television when she was actually being very prolific, speaking truth to power at the con at the House. Um, excuse me, in in, in the, um, the on the on the on Congress floor, talking about how we need to be more patriotic. He begins to denigrate her and joke about her hair and say that he could not listen to the content of her words because he was too distracted by her hair. And this is what uh, Congresswoman Maxine Waters said, which put the nail in the coffin for Mr. Bill O'Reilly. Everywhere. Don't allow these right wing talking heads, these dishonorable people to intimidate you or scare you. Be who you are. Do what you do. And let us get on with discussing the real issues of this country. Bill O'Reilly and Roger Ailes have no credibility. Uh, they have been sued by women. They have had to pay millions of dollars out in fines for harassment and other kinds of things. And so we know about that checkered past. And we also know that when a woman stands up and speaks truth to power, that there will be attempts to put her down. And so I'm not going to be put down. I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm going to stay on the issues. And the issues are basically these. We have a president of the United States who does not deserve to be president. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the the queen herself, Congressman Miss Queen Maxine Waters, as she she tore Bill O'Reilly a new one. Listen, I grew up in a um, matriarchal matriotic family. So I know when a, when a strong black woman talk, you better listen to her. And that's what Mr. Bill O'Reilly did. He listened. And also, not only Mr. Bill O'Reilly listened, but over 70 sponsors pulled their sponsorship from Mr. Bill O'Reilly's um, show, and they re repositioned it in Fox. And that is what caused Mr. Bill O'Reilly's demise. Yes. So it wasn't until they started to mess with the money. And what was the catalyst to mess with the money was Miss Maxine Waters standing ten toes down, speaking truth to power. That's what I'm talking about. That made me feel some type of way, Ms. Maxine. I'm going to listen to that again on the, way, on the way to the restaurant. She was talking real good. I love it. I love it. I love intellectual um, stimulating, um, bold, provocative conversations. I love that so much. So we were talking about that. Now, on a lighter note, ladies and gentlemen, we have been talking about it. Um, Mr. Um, Bob Marley's son, who's doing a very good job of keeping his name great, his, the Marley legacy great, he has recently um, struck a, a great deal. Let's read it. Um, Damien Marley has announced that in partnership with Ocean Grower Extracts, major key alert, Ocean Growers Extract stock would be a good stock to pay attention to. Ocean Growers Extract stock is um, converting a former 77,000 square foot California prison into a cannabis grow space that will cultivate medical marijuana to share um, and to have as a dispensary. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what the premise of today's show we're talking about. It is April 20th. It is 420. And we're talking about how you're able to um, get money from the cannabis movement. This is a huge boom. This is a gold rush. Um, cannabis has been made legal in a um, myriad of different states here in the United States of America. I gave you guys a tip earlier that in Europe, Ireland is becoming the top producer for cannabis in Europe. That's a good major key to look at. Um, one of you guys mentioned me on Facebook and you are um, saying that you want to know more about how you're able to build a cannabis business. We're going to talk about that. And you also asked me how you were able to get involved with cannabis stocks. We're going to talk about that as well. Hot off the money presses. Now on a lighter note, on even more of a lighter note, listen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a new baby to the family, Miss um, Serena Williams. She has shown herself pregnant. She is 22 weeks pregnant, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause for Miss Serena Williams. She is pregnant, and you guys went in on social media. Black, so black Twitter was in an uproar. You guys have absolutely no chill. <laughs> you guys were posting memes um, talking about how Drake let a good one go, how um, Common let a good one go, and it was just hilarious. And so congratulations to Miss Serena Williams as she and her fiance Beyonce are, are expecting their first bundle of joy, and he happens to be a multimillionaire as well. He is a co-founder of Reddit, ladies and gentlemen. So um, we're going to be talking about 
for the rest of the show, entrepreneurship. We're going to be talking about specifically on how you're able to grow a um, cannabis-based business and how you're able to maximize in the legal marijuana space. So if you are listening and you have someone that um, loves weed or if they are a weed head and they just don't know how to maximize and capitalize on it, I want you to position yourself to prosper. I'm going to give you three of the top major ways that you're able to maximize on the weed space. And the one way I'm going to do that is I'm going to talk about the top five things you need to do to build a legitimate weed business. We're going to talk about the top five things you need to do to build a weed business and then we're going to go into how you're able to maximize and capitalize that. So at hashtag money making motivation on Instagram, I want to know what your two cents is on the matter with dealing with Mr. Bill O'Reilly. Ask your questions live on the air, 855-75-M-O-N-E-Y. That is 855-756-M-O-N-E-Y. This is Money Making Motivation and I'm your host, Edeen Cole. This is your number one source for economic empowerment right here on Sensation Station Network. This is Money Making Motivation, your number one source for economic empowerment, and I'm your host, E. Dean Cole, and today we are talking the weed business, how you're able to maximize in this weed space, how you're able to capitalize on this weed space, and how you're able to be successful. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys asked in the last hour, I'm going to read it to you, um, someone says, um, Someone says, hey, Dean, I did not know that I can actually make money in the weed space. How am I able to how am I able to maximize and capitalize on this information? Thank you so much. And we're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about how you're able to get into the weed space, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to share with you. Um, these are the top five things that you need to do in order to grow your business. The top five things that you need to do in order to grow your business. I'm going to count them out in order. All right. The top things that you need to do to grow your business. Now, as you grow your business, it doesn't matter if you want to sell weed. It doesn't matter if you want to sell cupcakes. It does not matter if you want to sell weed cupcakes. Major key alert. <laughs> it does not matter if you want to sell weed brownies. Major key alert. It does not matter if you want to sell um suits or if you want to sell hair products you all still need to have these top five things you need to do thing number one and do this in order it's not about necessarily having the ingredients it's about following the recipe thing number one is create a llc limited liability corporation i suggest a llc you can do a s corp or c corp especially if you're going to grow a very large business you might want to do an s corp because then you'll be able to share stocks so thing number one is create a corporation I suggest an LLC. You don't want to be a um, sole proprietor. You cannot be a sole proprietor to effectively grow a business. The second thing you need to do is get an EIN number. EIN stands for an employee identification number. As a, Getting an employee identification number separates your liability. Um, you no longer have to do personal guarantees because now your business has its own entity. After you create an EIN number, um, after you create your EIN number, excuse me, let's take a step back. The first thing you need to do Forgive me. First thing you need to do is create a name that you cannot be marginalized with. If you are doing uh, your business, I strongly suggest that your business is something that is universal that can be used for multiple different things, as in your initials or in your first name, last name, and holdings or LLC or group. So if you are um, someone, who was it that just commented? Let me see someone that just said great information. I'm going to shout you out, young lady. You said great information. It was Miss Dun Dun. -dun, -dun. Um, it was Miss Tiffany. Miss Tiffany just commented. Miss Tiffany WK just commented. So what I would suggest is I would say that your name um, would be, I would say Tiffany or Tiffany or I say TWK because your name is Tiffany. TWK Enterprise would be a beautiful one. Or TWK Legacy would be beautiful. Or TWK LLC. So the first thing you need to do is create a, a universal name. Do not become marginalized by your name. Second thing you need to do is get an LLC, Limited Liability Corporation, or S Corp. Third thing you need to do is get an EIN, Employee Identification Number. That's going to separate yourself from, that's going to separate you from your, from your um, liability. The third, the fourth thing that you need to do is you need to then begin to build a professional presence online. No Gmail, no Yahoo. You must have a prime example, twkenterprise.com. So your email address should be at twkenterprise.com or um, www.twkenterprise.com 
twkenterprise.com. You have to create a professional online presence. After you create a professional online presence with an email address, you then need to get a DUNS number. DUNS, stand, a DUNS number stands for Dun & Bradstreet. After you have your DUNS number, then you're able to begin to build business credit that's completely separate from your personal credit, and you'll be able to begin to leverage yourself and be able to get funding. Those are the top five things that every business needs to do. Notice, I did not get into any licenses. I did not get into any specification or anything. If you have those top five things, I can get you funded for um, a startup business. The problem is that most people try to start their business and they don't have those minimum five things. And that, that fourth thing happens to be very big, which is the way that you appear on um, to an underwriter. You have to become credible, meaning that you have to have a professional email address, professional website, you have to have a professional um, um, address. In our course, we walk you step by step how to do all of that. But I just wanted to give you guys the top five things you needed to do to grow a business. The reason why is because after you've done those top five things, now let's talk about how you're able to maximize in the weed space. After you've done those top five things, we're going to show you how you're able to actually um, benefit in the weed space. So let's talk about the number one growing way, okay? The number one growing way that you're able to maximize in the weed space is with an app. Yes. Did you guys know that the app market for the weed space, we're talking about weed, we're talking about um, 420, this is April 20th, there is a big tech boom on 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 weed apps. I did not know this. Let's talk about the top ways that you're able to benefit. Um, let's talk about the top weed apps, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. These are the top weed apps. These are t the top 10 major weed apps that are uh, on the market. One is Leafly. <laughs> One is Leafly. It is free for Android and free for um, iPhone. Leafly is a new app. Um, there is High Theft. High theft is both free for Android and free for um, <laughs> from for iPhone. That's so funny to me. Here's one: Weed Scale 420. <laughs> That's their name. Weed Scale 420. It is free for Android. It is not available for iPhones. And then there is Grow Buddy. <laughs> Grow Buddy is free for Android and free for free for Android and also free for um, um, iPhone iOS. Dubby, which is another one, free for both. EaseMD. EaseMD is the last one I'm going to share with you guys. It is free on Android and also free on iOS. So I wanted to let you guys know that those are the top apps right now that are booming in the app space. You are able to do the top five things I talked about and build an app for weed dispensary and manufacturing or weed distribution, kind of like Uber for weed in the, in the states that weed is legal. So you do not have to be a participant of smoking weed. You don't have to be a, um, a contributor. You don't have to grow it. You don't have to smoke it. You don't have to cure it. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You don't have to sell it. But if you service the people that do, that is a huge growing space for you. So you could build, do the top five things I talked about, create a app building company or a, a, a technology company and just service that weed space. It's a booming industry. The second thing that we're able to do, which we talked about in grave detail, is the weed dispensaries. The weed dispensaries are basically pots of land, pieces of land that you're going to use to grow on. Now, when you do those top five things we just talked about and you build your business a proper way, you're able to actually get land for pennies on the dollar to grow weed. Did you know that? Yes, when we get back, I'm going to tell you and I'm going to show you how you can get land for pennies on the dollar on how and where you're able to grow weed legally in the U.S. What if I told you that you could have a weed dispensary for 500 bucks? I'm going to share that with you when we get back. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Hashtag money making motivation. Share hashtag money making motivation. More after we get back. I got to get a word from our sponsors. But this is Money Making Motivation, your number one source for economic empowerment. And I'm your host, Edie and Cole. In foster care will love you just the same. For more information on how you can adopt, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids, and the Ad Council. Hey, Dean. How are you, Dean? Hey, Dean. Hashtag money-making motivation.
This is your number one source for economic empowerment, and you are listening to Sensation Station Network. You might be listening in your beautiful um, new Impala, or maybe that new beautiful Tahoe, or um, any of your GM vehicles. This hour is sponsored by General Motors, so we want to thank General Motors. If you're listening to um, Sensation Station Network by listening to um, satellite radio on that tune-in station, I appreciate you so much for that. This is your number one source for economic empowerment, and I'm your host, E. Dean Cole. And this is a segment of My Two Cents, where I read read um, your Instagram messages. I read your Facebook messages. I want to know what your two cents is on the matter. We were talking about Mr. Bill O'Reilly um, being fired, Miss Maxine Waters. We were talking about that, and I want to know what your two cents is. Give us a call, 855-75-M-O-N-E-Y. That is 855-756-6639. So let's talk about it. So on Instagram, let's see what you guys are saying about Miss Maxine Waters. All right, so we have... Um, Moon brownies, moon brownies, I think that's how it's, moon brownie berries, very interesting name, says, go ahead, Miss Maxine Waters, let them know what strong black women look like, all right, then we have, um, we have Prometheus, the God says, um, Maxine Waters told him how my grandma used to tell me, <laughs> all right, then we have, um, Oh, Marijuana Maker 2018 says, um, this is one of the best shows I have ever seen. No one talks about um, legal marijuana like this. I am so excited. Thank you very much. All right. One last person is Terrence underscore I am the God. Excuse, excuse me. Terrence underscore I am the God, G-A-D. I think that's how I'm going to say that. Maybe I'm saying, or maybe I am the Gad. Says, um, Maxine Waters just did to um, Bill O'Reilly what all black women do to black men. Ooh, I don't know about that one. I don't subscribe to that. So, ladies, he said it, not me. So, find him on Twitter. And last but not least, we have Miss underscore, um, Miss underscore Lashes for Days says, yes, Miss Maxine, Miss Maxine and Angela Rye showed them what a strong black women can do. Hashtag money make a motivation. Hashtag black queen. Hashtag tat it up. Hashtag on googly eyes. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, um, this is my two cents on the matter. I think I love what Miss Maxine Waters did. Um, I think this is a win. Like I said, I think this is a win for the culture. The reason why is because Bill O'Reilly has been very misogynistic. Bill O'Reilly is the second poster child for white supremacy. I don't mean to offend anybody, who anybody that's listening. We're just stating facts, you know, he's very much so a right wing, notice I said right wing Republican, very much so on the right side of things, him and Donald Trump are thick as thieves, and so because we could not get Trump impeached yet, if that's what some people's goals are, to get Bill O'Reilly fired is a great move in the right direction, I love the energy, let's keep the same energy going into the rest of this presidency, yes ladies and gentlemen, let's galvanize ourselves, let's position ourselves for power, so I absolutely love that, I hate to see another um, personality taken down. I hate to see another um, radio, um, when he's not radio, actually television um, broadcaster losing a spot. But hey, if I can think about it opportunistically, that's just one spot closer for me on a major on a major scale. But most importantly, you should have used your platform for good, not for evil in my opinion, um, when you have those $20 million checks coming in every year, it's kind of easy to get nostalgic. I can kind of get that, you know, but at the same time, you know, when you mess with a black woman, you better be ready for what come around that corner because ain't no telling what's going to come around that corner. She might come out the bag on you with her words. She might come out the bag on you with a nice 22, <laughs> or she might come out the bag on you with some mace. Ain't no telling, but Miss Maxine Waters came out the bag with her words. She spoke truth to power, and she actually added more gasoline to the fire. So good job on that. That's my two cents on the matter. So ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to talk about it a little bit more. Let's talk about um, the weed business. We were talking about how you're able to grow a business. Uh, we were talking about apps. And then before the break, we were talking about land. Yes, I have some good news that I want to share with you guys. Land. So I asked you, what would you do if you got land for pennies on the dollar? What would you do if you could get land for free? Let me explain how you can get land for free and how you can get land for pennies on the dollars. I'm about to share something with you guys. I want you guys to stay woke, okay? 
Hashtag stay woke. If you're watching right now on social media, if you're watching right now, even if you're watching the replay of this on um, YouTube, I want you to comment below hashtag stay woke. And I'm going to be looking. I look at those analytics. I'm very analytical and I look at those analytics. Hashtag stay woke. I'm about to share something with you guys. There is litigation going on in two major key states that will change people's lives. Okay. In the United States of America, there are 13 places, there are 13 providence where you can actually get land for free. Capital F-R-E-E. -E. There are 13 places, 13 pro there are 13 counties where you can get land for free. And the, the two states that have the largest counties where you can get free land is Kansas and one more place. I want to double check. I don't want to say it wrong. Nebraska. Kansas and Nebraska are the two states that have the largest amount of counties where you can get free land. So that is a major key alert, ladies and gentlemen. Both of these states have been pushing heavy for, for litigation to allow Congress to allow marijuana um, production and usage to be made legal in that state. Go get you some land right now before it becomes legal because once it becomes legal they are going to take up all of that land how are you able to get land for free how are you able to get land for pennies on a dollar let me take a step back kansas and nebraska have the t their 13 counties in the united states that are giving away land for free everywhere in the united states of america in your county whether it be fulton county DeKalb county in the state of georgia whether it be pitt county whether it be monroe county or gale county wherever you live there are pieces of land that's considered homestead. Homestead land is oftentimes rural land where um, the county has not received any taxes for that land. It's just been sitting dormant for years and years and years. And you can pay the back taxes on this raw land for pennies on the dollar and you can actually take that land for cheap, yes. There are different counties where you live right now today. So if you are in a um, place like California or Colorado, or if you are in um, one of these areas where um, weed is legal right now, this is kind of how a lot of people have been kind of taking advantage. So what they did in California, Colorado, I want you guys to get ready to do for Nebraska and for Kansas. Go for the land grab. If you go and you, <clears throat> this is how homesteading works. You go down to the counties, you go down to the um the tax commissioner office for that for that county that you live in. Every single county has its own separate tax commissioner location. You go down and you see what the, the taxes are due for the land. After you see what the taxes are due, you pay a fee to have that land go up for immediate auction. Now, this is a cool thing about it. If nobody pays attention and if nobody hears about it, if nobody knows about the auction, then you can scoop that land up. So what will happen is that they have to put a um, publication in the newspaper for 30 days letting them know that there's a live auction going on for this piece of land. If people are asleep and they're not woke, listen, I want you to stay woke. If people are asleep and they're not woke, you can actually, for hundreds of dollars, not even thousands of dollars, for hundreds of dollars, um, position, petition to pay the back taxes on this land. And if no one claims it, you now instantly $700, $800, $1,000 can now have a piece of raw land. Yes. Now, now let's talk a little bit about this land. Now, I don't want to um, romanticize you. This type of land is not a one piece of real estate. No, this is rural. It's underdeveloped land. But now you get it for pennies and pennies and pennies on the dollar. You can build a house on that land. You can build a steel building on that land. You can actually use that land for collateral for your business. You can get acres and acres of land. Now, oftentimes with these homestead pieces of land, a lot of times they're landlocked and you have to go through somebody else's land in order to drive up to get there. So do your due diligence. And when you do go and see these parcels of land, do not under any circumstances I suggest get the land sight unseen because you might get a parcel of land that's nothing but a steep hill that goes down to a gully or goes down to a creek that's not something that's farmable and, or inhabitable. So that being said, do your due diligence. Go and see these actual different parcels before you begin to um, 
<clears throat> before you begin to bid on these pieces of land. And you do that, you can find yourself in the position of having good farmland to grow weed dispensaries. Once you own that land free and clear, ladies and gentlemen, you cooking with hot grease. Now you can use that for collateral. You can actually build a steel building for $5,000, a whole building, $5,000. And now you have a place to grow your business. This is Money Making Motivation, guys. I want to educate you. I want to empower you. I would like to entertain you. But most importantly, I want to inspire you. I want to make sure that you are the best you that you can be. This is Money Making Motivation. I'm your host, Eating Cole. You are listening to Sensation Station Network. When we get back, we're going to talk about those weed stocks right here on SSNATL.com. Is Money Making Motivation, your number one source for economic empowerment. Spend it and get it right back is brought to you by Markets World Live. Yes, Markets World Live is one of the only um, binary options provider for providers that will match you dollar for dollar. You put $1,000 in your account, they're going to match you with $1,000. You put $2 in your account, guess what? They're going to match you with $2. So you're going to instantly double your money just by doing business with Markets World Live. And we are coming up with a course that is free. That's right, absolutely free. Capital F-R-E-E, free 99, set to be released in two weeks that is going to teach you step by step on how you're able to get involved with forex trading in the binary option market so definitely stay tuned for that ladies and gentlemen so um spin it and get it right back you guys asked last episode excuse not last episode last hour <laughs> you guys asked about more um weed stocks so i'm going to share with you the top four medical marijuana stocks to watch for 2017 and I'm gonna give you their stock tickers you guys are ready to go let me give you the top four stocks the first stock for weed is AbV Incorporated now listen to the names of these business ladies and gentlemen this goes back to what I was telling you about anonymous LLC's you have absolutely no idea what ABBVIE Incorporated is no idea but the name of the business is AbV Incorporated the stock ticker is ABBV AbbVie Incorporated is the number one pharmaceutical company right now that is ahead of all the others when it comes to the legal, the medical marijuana space. Notice, stay woke, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to the name, AbbV Incorporated. Stock is ABBV. That's the stock. That's their stock ticker. Then the second stock right now is GW Pharmaceuticals. Stay woke, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to this, GW Pharmaceuticals. Beautiful name, because stands for Grower of Weed Pharmaceuticals, whatever you want it to stand for, but listen to the le legal name, GW Pharmaceuticals, their stock ticker is GWPH, beautiful, they are the second leading stock provider right now, they are um, on a they are on hold for FDA approval in late 2017. They are one of the second um, fastest growing weed stocks, uh, pharmaceutical stocks. Now this one is, this is really funny ladies and gentlemen, this is hilarious. <laughs> the third fastest growing weed stock is Scott's miracle Grow Company. <laughs> yes, Scott's miracle Grow Company is um, a interesting way to play the marijuana boom is Scott's miracle Grow, Known for a lawn and garden products, the company is developing products for cannabis growers. Stay woke, ladies and gentlemen. Scott's miracle Grow. that you can go to your local Walmart, you can go to your local um, corner store, you can go to your fast chain um, um, supermarket, very um, universally, um, placed is getting into the cannabis business and because of this they are the number three company to watch their stock ticker number is SMG stay woke ladies and gentlemen pay attention and number four is Corbis Pharmaceuticals listen stay woke Corbis Pharmaceuticals CRBP is their stock ticker they are the number four fastest growing stock to kind of look out for in 2017 so if you don't want to start a business if you do not want to create an app but you want to start to trade um, because you're passionate about the um, marijuana space and the legal marijuana space that is an option for you guys ladies and gentlemen I want you to stay woke listen to those names those are beautiful names they're very universal you have absolutely no idea what they do even the ones that have pharmaceuticals in the name you don't know what type of pharmaceuticals they have see ladies and gentlemen Boys and girls, the roadmap to success is around you if you will stay woke and you would look at it. I heard somebody say this, and I, I like it a lot, is that every closed eye ain't sleep and every sleep eye ain't closed. I need you to stay woke, ladies and gentlemen. I love that saying. I heard an older gentleman say that um, 
in out of parody, I was joking, but I love that. The, the full saying is, every, um, every sickness isn't unto death, every goodbye ain't gone, and every closed eye ain't sleep, and every sleep eye ain't closed. Stay woke. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. But ladies and gentlemen, I said all of that to say this. So today I've shared with you the top five things you need to do to grow a business. I gave them to you. I give them to you again. Thing number one, make sure that your business name is something universal like those top four stocks are. Second thing you need to do is become an incorporation. I suggest LLC, Limited Liability Corporation, but you can become an S-Corp or C-Corp, especially an S-Corp if you want to go public because you have to be an S-Corp so that you can have stock shares. It's th the third thing that you need to do is get your EIN number. It stands for Employee Identification Number. The fourth thing that you need to do is create a business professional image um, a, a a legitimate email address a web um, site make sure that you are listed on all of the directories make sure you're listed on Google major key alert um, in our course we walk you step by step through the entire process on how you're able to do this our course um, is called the startup coaching is the course um, it's only $50 a month for 12 months that's it um, and it teaches you step by step what you need to do to be successful um, if you want to enroll in our course it's dcfionline.com forward slash enroll or just go to dcfionline.com and you can kind of look around um, um, the, the fifth, the fourth thing, the fifth thing that you need to do is get a DUNS number. DUNS number allows you to build business credit and create a Paydex score, and it opens you up to all types of lending and all types of um, benefits. You can be in business for a full 12 months, um, and I can get you access to anywhere from fifty to $100,000. We have a lender right now that's giving out fifty to $100,000 for businesses that have been in business for at least 12 months, ladies and gentlemen. So I said all of that to say this. Um, there's no excuse if you, if you love weed. I just shared with you the top five things you needed to do to build your business. Now, after you've built your business, before the break, we were talking about getting land for pennies on the dollar. I was giving you the process of getting what's considered homestead land. Homestead land is land that is owned by the county and the state that has just been sitting dormant for years and years and years. No one has paid taxes on this land. A lot of times it's because it is... Um, undesirable for developers but if you're developing weed or if you're developing um, um, a farm this is great for you so if you're a person that wants to um, get a small house or if you're a person that wants to to live off the land to be able to be prepared when the walking dead becomes a reality in 2020 or whatever it is and you need your ak-47s and you, you need your well water and you need to be able to get ready with your axes and your booby traps if that's the lifestyle you want to live you can get land for pennies on the dollar by getting going to a homestead creating a homestead option you would go to the local county where the land is and then you're going to petition to have an auction if no one else bids against this land then whatever the minimum taxes are are, you pay that and you own it free and clear you have a deed that is one of the best ways that you're able to get land and someone asked me during the break what are the counties or what are the locations where you're able to um, let's go over the, the places you need to look for that now before the break I was telling you guys that there, there are 13 counties in the United States right now where you don't even have to go through the whole auction process you can just go up to them and say hey I want some land and they're gonna say okay take it that is um, Kansas and Nebraska and both Kansas and Nebraska have both petitioned Congress to allow um, weed to become legal stay woke ladies and gentlemen I am not passionate about it which is one of the reasons why I'm not going after it I only go after things that I'm passionate about which is why I, I have as I have Dean Cole financial which is the financial um, consulting I love that also we have DCFI online which is financial institution because I love to educate and empower the trucking industry I absolutely love the trucking industry It's a great place to get a good return on your investment and the third thing that I have is real estate just because I absolutely love real estate one of the best long-term things that you need when we get back ladies and gentlemen I'm going to tell you the counties that you need to look out for so that you can go and try to get some homestead land in those areas this is money making motivation I want you to tell a to tell a friend hit that share button I want you to hit the like button comment subscribe if you're watching on YouTube and you've watched this long I'm going to look for your comments below this is money making motivation and I'm your host Edine Cole and we are broadcasting live in all of your GM vehicles right here on Sensation Station Network oh. 
This is Money Making Motivation, your number one source for economic empowerment, and I'm your host, Edian Cole, and you are listening to Money Making Motivation, ladies and gentlemen. We are live every Tuesday and Thursday from 1 to 3, right here on SSNATL.com. You can listen to us if you're in your GM vehicles on the TuneIn um, app on Satellite Radio. You can also follow us, hashtag Money Making Motivation on Instagram, hashtag Money Making Motivation on Twitter, at Edian Cole, hashtag Money Making Motivation. We are everywhere you need to be. Remember, you are our co-host, Adam. You tweet me or you call me. Our call in number is 855 75 M O N E Y. That is 855 75 66639. And we actually have a caller live on the air right now. Hey, caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, this is Don. I'm from Atlanta. Hey, Don, how are you doing, my man? Pretty good, pretty good. That's good stuff. Thanks so much for giving me a call. Um, how can I help you? So, I got a question. Um, it's actually probably about strategy. Yes, sir. Um, I'm Learning a bit about credit and restoration of credit. Yes, sir. Um, but I have a tough um, profile that I'm working with. Um, it's actually uh, a parent of mine. It's my mom. Okay. She had gotten sick um, a few years back. She has insurance and always had insurance, but mm-hmm. for some odd reason, the insurance isn't, they don't want to cover this time period. Um, so subsequently, there are like eight, I pulled a credit report and it's like 81 different um different uh, um, public records collection account mm-hmm. yeah collection accounts about it looks like it, some of them are like as low as $25 with like co-pays mm-hmm. and then some of them are as high as 6000 which is like I guess a full entire bill she did survive cancer she's still alive now that's awesome right, cancer survivor now we're trying to restore well. her yeah so that's that's uh, one of the things we're trying to do for her I want to do for her birthday, um, try to get a credit cleaned up. So I'm thinking about what strategy, what's the best route? Should I, should I do a total credit freeze or should I, um, like, the speed each one of them? Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I actually, I'm, I'm kind of lost on what okay. I should do. That's a very good question. Thank you so much for calling me, my man. So a couple of questions before we get started. Is there anything that's positively that's reporting on your mother's credit? Nothing. Nothing. Everything is all she doesn't, Nah, right? she deals with cash. She's one of the old yeah, school cash, 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 cash. I understand. Cash. I understand. Yep. Okay, so that being said, you need to attack it two separate ways. Let me tell you how you attack this. Um, has she ever filed bankruptcy? I, I believe like maybe 20 years ago. Okay, not 20 years ago, but it's no, no open bankruptcy. Okay, so two things. You no, 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 no. In no. two phases. So the first thing that you oh, need to... I'm sorry, not to cut you off. Yes, sir. There's uh, also a public, there's a public record on there, too, I saw. Okay, all right, so... There's um, a judgment, yeah. Okay, so let's do this. One, I'm going to try to answer your question as best as I can. If not, <laughs> okay. call okay. me Tuesday because this is a great question, and this is the second time we've had a really good question, and there are minutes before I have to get off the air. I am live from 1 to 3. Okay. <laughs> and so I have five uh, minutes to give you the best answer. I try to call in as soon as I could. Yeah. That's okay. I understand. Yeah. I understand. So if, you, if, if I don't answer your full question now, definitely call me back on Tuesday because people need to hear this. And matter of fact, I want you to call yeah. me back on Tuesday so we can have a more in-depth conversation. But what you need to do right now, two things. The first thing you need to do, is to get your mother where she needs to apply for guaranteed lines of credit. In our course, um, you have access to $20,000 of guaranteed lines of credit. As long as your mother is not in a current open bankruptcy, her credit score can be negative 300. It does not matter. These lenders are going to give her guaranteed lines of credit. That's the first thing because you need to have something positive reporting before you wipe away what's there. The second thing that you need to do is to do a third-party freeze, not a total credit freeze, but a third-party freeze. What a third-party freeze does, it stops the credit bureaus to from contacting the third-party reporting agencies so that they can verify the debt. After you have that third-party freeze, then you must do an online dispute. The mistake that a lot of people make and what Lexington Law and a lot of these other companies do is they do actual handwritten disputes. Handwritten disputes is not your first line of defense. Handwritten disputes is your second line of defense before you do your third line of defense, which is a 609 letter. That being said, and listen to this again, come back to my YouTube channel um, and you will be able to listen to the replay. This is going to be up on YouTube. Sure, sure. I'm already, I'm 10 steps ahead of you. I always say I'm going to listen to the replay. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so listen to the replay because I'm talking real fast because I'm looking at the clock is counting down and people are uh, giving me the um, the finger. So um, in, the, in okay. a great way. But I said all of that to say this. Do 
add the add the um, positive open lines of credit. They're not they're not fake trade lines. They're real companies. Second thing you need to do mm -hmm. is you need to do a third party freeze. After you do the third party freeze, do an online dispute with all three credit bureaus. A majority of that old stuff is going to fall off. The things that do remain, then we're going to attack those. And you give me a call on Tuesday. Call me early on Tuesday as best as you can, and I'm going to give you an in depth walkthrough for your mother. And I'm also going to give you our course for free, so your mother can take our course. For for free so give me a call back on tuesday you're going to have access to our full course to have access to everything and also make sure that she has everything that she needs thank you so much for giving me a call ladies and gentlemen that has been the show um thank you so much for watching thank you so much for listening thank you so much for allowing me to speak truth to power into your life i want you guys to know something that there is greatness inside of you you might struggle with the mediocrity and you might struggle with your self-limiting beliefs but if you overcome those negative thoughts and you really position yourself you can be and do anything that you want to do. This has been Money Maker Motivation, and I appreciate your time, and I speak a blessing over you until next Tuesday from 1 to 3, and you can t always listen to us in your GM vehicle and also on Sensation Station Network. Thank you so much, and you have a good day. We got to keep God first. We got to yeah. stay humble. We got to keep working, and we got to get this money. Ke Economic okay. empowerment yeah, yeah. is what's going to keep all of us on the screen now. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> Like Jesus. Jesus.